Now, this isn't my normal level of breakdown. I normally would go a little bit more in depth, showcase a little bit more of the gameplay. However, I'm just a little bit crunched for time right now. So, OCE this weekend. We take a look at the top eight. Pretty standard, I think, for the top eight. You have Ground Zero, who was formerly Kaka's Minions, putting on a good show. The Lake Show, which is Siki, Mock, and Hunter. Another great team there. Pioneers doing their thing. Placeholders is a team definitely should not be sleeping on because they took down Power. Power in this top eight definitely felt like they should have won this series, but they did fall to the Placeholders team of Misty, Fiber, and Vortex. This roster of Misty and Fiber played together last season they were under dire wolves they won a regional so this team definitely not one to slouch on however power looks like they did a little bit and they and they took an l for that and it definitely felt like they left off let off the gas a little bit in the super team and oce will work it out but in regional one did not go their way pioneers roll through placeholders with a spaceman sweep on the way to the grand final and then the other semi-final ground zero versus lake show the lake show take it Siki and mock were a duo under bandits last season and also the three one twos they bring in hunter who is a freshly turned 15 oce prodigy great player they take down ground zero who a lot of people had as number three team in this region showing that oce's got a little bit more depth than a lot of people might have thought and then in the grand final pioneers you know scrub super locky banana head showed that they still have this region in a chokehold those guys definitely looking forward to seeing them at the fall major Honestly, I don't expect anything less than a grand final for the Pioneers after a performance like this, and hopefully they can replicate it in the coming events. Next, we're going to take a look at Europe. Europe played alongside SSA at the same exact time frame, so they both started at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. We're going to take a look at Europe first in Swiss. Moist and BDS go 3-0. Oxygen, Carmine, and Tundra all go 3-1. Tundra, the former top blokes roster, so Cassio, Raziers, and Rizx45. Definitely a team to watch out for and whether or not they can replicate this kind of success. And then in the next tier of wins, G1, Quadrant, and Team Liquid. All three of those teams definitely I have making it through in my head. A team that I think a lot of people were disappointed by the results this past weekend were Evil Geniuses, a team that went 3-0 in the top 16 qualifier, go 1-3 and in Swiss here. Question marks surrounding them, question marks surrounding a lot of these teams in the, the bottom eight here, but even question marks around the teams in the top eight and why Liquid is going negative in game differential in Swiss and whether or not quadrant is legit lots of question marks around surrounding eu and we head into playoffs pretty normal stuff i would say in terms of expected results aside from quadrant versus bds and quadrant is a team that i have a lot of high hopes for this is the goldbridge ball roster exo cash and relating wave a team that i like a lot i liked wave when he was on endpoint cash want to see him on land and seeing them beat bds was absolutely riveting a 352 ot crazy bds i'll admit they looked a little sloppy don't know whether or not quadrant would be able to replicate this kind of series win but doesn't matter they got done on the day and found themselves in the top four against oxygen after oxygen had just beat g1 other teams in semis we got moist versus carmine is a great matchup Semis were pretty easily handed by the teams that won. Oxygen 4-0 sweep quadrant. Archie even said that they looked really good in that series. Obviously, it's a 4-0, so how can you not say that? And Carmine versus Moist. Vatira gets the edge in the battle of the former rosters. Astral takes the L on this one. Moist, Joyo, and Astral just don't look like they have it all figured out on defense, and you can tell by how much they were conceding this series. Got outscored 13-7, so... Not like a big difference, but big enough to where a team like Moist Esports in the caliber in which they can play should not be losing by differential of 13 to 7. Heading to the grand finals, Oxygen continued their dominance. Take game one, they lose two games in a row, but then they come out and dominate the last three after a timeout. 4 1, 3 1, and 4 0 oh on Neo Tokyo to run it out there. Archie, Joyous, and Oli looking like a very dominant squad. Lots of speed on the pitch, lots of mechanical ability, and overall just a lot of high-powered offense. Whether or not Oxygen can maintain this level of success in Europe will yet to be seen. However, I do have this team in the top three immediately. Heading into SSA, a region I hold very near and dear in my heart, we have about six very, very competitive teams in this region. Bacotay Nuts is the roster of Snowy, Darth, and To Die For. The new Orlando Pirates roster is cams aka formerly known as daisy my boy happy meal and they brought in eliakim who was previously on the digital devils from last season if you guys remember atk millennium times gaming white rabbit gaming and reformed are in that next level tier there in the playoffs there were a lot of sweeps only we only saw two games over the minimum 
throughout these playoffs. May contain nuts, dominated Team Espionage there. Millennium Times Gaming surprised a lot of people taking out White Rabbit Gaming in this one. WRG was the team that went 3-0 in the top 16 qualifier between them and May Contain Nuts. They were the top two seats heading into this event. And Millennium Times Gaming came out and put the money where their mouth is and showed up and beat them in a 4-1. It's a great series overall, and I'm happy to see a little bit more competition towards the three through six team range for SSA. You got Pirates versus Orion. And aside from the OT in that game four, it was all pirates all day, baby. Cam's looking great. I like him and him as a duo. Really great at attacking the ball and Happy Meal cleaning up the mess when he needs to. Overall, really happy with how pirates have been playing so far. Yes, there's a little bit of bias. Reformed versus ATK. This was not supposed to be a 4 0 sweep. Reformed is a roster consisting of Skill Steel, who was on Pirates last season, Archeon, who was a player for ATK last season, a, a player that was consistently in the top four, and Mr. Lowe, who was a player for Team Nibble, a team that was also consi consistently in the top eight. This Reformed team took it to ATK and advanced to the top four, solidifying themselves as a great contender in this region. Going into the next series, Pirates versus Reformed. Didn't know if it was going to be a sweep, but. Again, Pirates show up on the day and show that they are not a team to be reckoned with. Even with losing the SSA MVP from last season into Die 4, Cam's and Happy Meal showing that they can still stand tall as a duo, bringing in a new third with Eliakim, taking down Reformed very, very well. May Contain Nuts actually drop a game to Millennium Times Gaming, a series that I and a lot of other people might expect to be a 4-0. However, May Contain Nuts, they pull out all the stops after losing that one game and shut down Millennium Times Gaming after that. Going into the grand final on Championship Sunday, whether or not we were going to see another sweep and what, how Pirates were going to be able to stand up against the speed and precision of May Contain Nuts was a big question. And in the grand final, there was it was just too sloppy from Pirates at the end of the day. May Contain Nuts were controlling a lot of the pace and the pitch. And it really shows in the scoreline here. May Contain Nuts drops 13 compared to the Pirates 3. 13 to 3 in a grand final is not the way you want to go out. However, making the grand final will provide a lot of feedback for Pirates going forward and how they can improve. Cams and Eliakim should be the offensive duo going forward with Happy Meal playing a really great third man. Hopefully they can work that out and make it a more competitive grand final going into the Fall Cup. But May Contain Nuts to die for Snowy and Darth. They're looking dangerous. The final region to finish out the fall open for the RLCS 2022-2023 season was, of course, South America. A region that saw their best team, Inferia, move to NA. A couple roster moves happen here and there. Lots of question marks surrounding this region about who's going to take the top dog spot. Team Secret and the club lead the way through Swiss, as a lot of people expect. Empire, Crew, and Endgame as the next group of three ones. And again, also an expected result. However, some teams that we expected to see in the playoffs, like maybe True Neutral or Exceed Brazil, maybe even Atypical, lose out in the Swiss stage. So how deep is Sam truly? We go to the playoffs and we saw some relatively decent series. Secret versus Epiphany. This is a team, this is a a roster that secret should beat nine times out of ten however pretty low scoring games secret likes to play a little bit closer to the ball math no longer on the roster bringing in kv1 maybe trying to spice it up with some more offensive firepower don't really find their groove quite yet but i'm sure they'll grow into it end game versus empire end game this is a roster that a lot of people need to be watching out for brad and royale's manning the duo alp or alpi alpe i'm not fully sure i apologize as the third for this team taking down reppy pj and twist pretty handily i would say Going to the club versus only outliers, the club, you know, we know the club. Lost, Astromic, and Bems, Bems former player for Crew. The club, they're them dudes for sure. And we go into Crew, their series, bringing in Shad from the former Complexity roster. Crew, Drufino and Drops taking down the Backroom Enjoyers, which is a very strange name to have. But Crew looking good heading through the quarterfinals. A tough matchup for them going up against the club here. Crew... Gave it all they got, took them to game seven. However, they did lose games five, six, and seven to the club who advanced to the grand finals. Crew, just so close there. I think if you're on the other end of the bracket, you might be able to take out Endgame or Team Secret. However, the club is not the team that you want to face in the semifinals. Heading to that other semifinal, Secret versus Endgame. Secret got 4-0 swept, a team that a lot of people probably were writing off as if not first, definitely second best in this region going into the new season. Endgame come in and stomp them out to secure their ticket into the grand final against the club. And again, the club is too much firepower. Lost, Astromic, and Bems. They are proving to be a problem. 6-1 in that final game to secure the sweep on Utopia. Just absolutely a brutal way to go out if you're Endgame. 
a team that probably expected maybe make the top eight, maybe the top four, to make it all the way to the grand final and then get stomped like that. It's got to be very demoralizing. However, great result from them. They are currently, you know, poised to make the fall major. If they can have some repeat performances like that, expect to see Endgame along with the club representing Sam in Rotterdam. But that has been RLCS last weekend. Sorry it's late. Sorry it's not the normal stuff, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed a little bit of a commentary recap and hopefully you guys are looking forward to another great weekend of rocket league ahead of us until next time peace